Hey folks, welcome back to the EMH. This is your host, Bailey, and uh, we're going to dive into our Never Forget Math Lessons number three. It's math money. All right, and that's going to lead us to our quote of the day, which is more like a little bit of like a, a novel or a passage of the day. All right, ready? Da-da-da-da-da. It's the one and only D-R-E, Mike Dre, my elephants. All right, so first of all, guys, I'm just going to get this out of the way. Uh, I got to admit it. I'm a Mike Dre fanboy, okay? Um, whatever he says, I'm like hanging on every word. All right, it's pure gold. And um, I took this a little snippet from the uh, official Telegram group uh, the other day, uh, probably like a week or two ago. And I like I screenshotted it right away because it kind of encapsulated everything that has um, like drawn me um, to elephant money and was the main reason that I, you know, I made this channel, you know, as someone who's a little bit of a math nerd. Um, it was you know, it just kind of captured everything pretty, pr pretty perfectly, guys. So um, so here it is. So this is uh, his response. Um, it says elephant money is the most unique and mathematically sound project in DeFi. It's bleeding edge innovation, and it continues to evolve. It's math money, right? Constant product formula, automated market maker, elephant money. Okay, taking the AMM, all right, that's the automated market maker, and building a system that uses math to create perpetual yield, cash flow for all, is levels beyond anything we've seen. This stands the shoulder of years of financial experiments across multiple blockchains. All those on-chain experiments uh, led BT to eventually crack the code when he created elephant money. This wasn't some fly-by-night idea. This project is the culmination of years of work towards the same goal, cash flow for all. all right, this is why Elephant is such an excellent design. It's seasoned like a tasty steak. All right, guys. All right, so welcome to math class today. All right, um, so my first two math lessons were pretty, you know, kind of eased you in a little bit. Not a lot of math going on. This one's got some numbers and stuff, you know, so um, there's some exciting stuff going on um, in the elephant money. And um, there's talk of parabolas and all sorts of uh, crazy wild uh, moon rides and everything. So um, I just wanted to dive in a little bit into kind of what makes this all tick and hopefully present it in a way that's uh, kind of accessible. And, you know, potentially you might um, you might learn a learn a thing or two or, or understand it just a little more. Um, or, you know, it might uh, kind of solidify kind of what you had already uh, thought about the system. So uh, it's, it's going to be uh, really neat. Okay. All right. So guys, uh, to get into this, all right. So the first thing that Mike had mentioned there in the post uh, is this thing called the constant product formula. All right. And um, when I started to uh, look into, um, you know, DeFi and everything, you know, I came across uh, this uh, formula and it was mostly for um, talking about uh, liquidity pools, all right, our automated market makers. And that's kind of what makes um, DeFi, um, you know, work, right? Because now you don't need to, you know, call up your stockbroker and Matthew McConaughey, you know, is hitting you with all those commissions and everything like that. Now there's a system where you don't need um, another person or another buyer to be able to, you know, exchange uh, the commodities. Okay. You can go right to this liquidity pool here and that's that automated market maker. Um, so um, when I first started uh, looking at these things, um, they really talked about someone who was like um, uh, providing the liquidity. All right. And staking it. And there's all sorts of really complicated stuff with, um, you know, like permanent loss and all that. And it was like, I mean, I was looking at like the blackboard and like Goodwill hunting. It was, I mean, there's like, you know, it's crazy levels of calculus and all sorts of wild stuff going on and everything. And um, so I was like, well, yeah, like, okay. Um, but what's nice about elephant money is it just kind of boils it down to like the basics of, um, you know, how it works. And it just, it works the, it works the system like beautifully. Right. So let's dive into this guys. So a uh, constant product formula. All right, is an algorithm used to determine the price of tokens on an automated market maker platform. Uh, the formula maintains that tokens in a liquidity pool must remain at a fixed relative value. 
All right, that's that constant thing we're talking about in the constant product formula. It's gonna be some constant that um, the product is always gonna be equal to. And the most well-known formula is X times Y equals K pioneered by the Uniswap protocol, all right? Now that maintains, and this is super important, all right, that a pair of tokens in a liquidity pool must remain at equal total values. And by fixing the relative values of the tokens, the formula is able to automatically determine pricing. Whew, okay. All right, so guys, um, so there's gonna be this constant that's gonna be used in this formula, which is a multiplication problem of two quantities, X and Y. And in math, we call them variables because those values change. You know, They can change as people are transacting and putting stuff in and out of the, um, you know, of the liquidity pool there. All right, now the, the big thing, guys, that we're going to focus on on this slide right here is this in yellow right here. So a pair of tokens in a liquidity pool must remain at equal total values, All right? And basically what that kind of boils down to, guys, is in a liquidity pool, half of the value, half of the liquidity is going to be allocated for one of the tokens, and half of the liquidity is allocated for the other half of the tokens, okay? So that liquidity is kind of split 50-50 between the two tokens, okay? So that's an important thing to keep track of. All right, so guys, um, this is the data I got from the two liquidity pools in Elephant Money. Um, and I pulled this um, last night, if you're watching it, um, when I first uh, upload this uh, last night. So it might be a little off from um, all the wheeling and dealing that has gone on so far, but you can get the idea. And um, these examples, you can always apply them to wherever the, liquidity, uh, the um, liquidity pools are right now, you know, in, in real time. So this is how this uh, works. So what we're going to do is just basically figure out what the price of elephant token is right now with these two liquidity pools. Okay. Now, obviously, you can just look at the, you know, the screen and be like, oh, it's, you know, eight cents per million or, you know, 7.8 cents, you know, nine cents per million. OK, but we're going to show you guys like where that math comes from, where the value actually comes from. OK. All right. So, guys, uh, right here. OK, for our current BNB liquidity pool compared with elephants. All right. We have. You know, um, about $23.5 million in total liquidity in this pool, okay? So what that basically means, guys, is that the elephant token is going to represent half of the liquidity, and then the BNB represents the other half of the liquidity, okay? And this is why, like, when BNB goes up and down, or the elephant token goes up and down. Okay, because like there's a bunch of BNB in here. If the BNB goes up, okay, it represents like half of the liquidity, but the elephant is also going to be equal to that. Okay, so as BNB moves up and down, okay, the liquidity of the elephant in the pool is following suit with it. Okay, so here's how this works, guys. What we'll do is we'll take that total liquidity, which is that 23. A million number, and we'll divide it by two, okay? Because the elephant would be worth half of the liquidity in that liquidity pool, okay? And that's how they actually make the LP the pairs, okay? They put kind of like half half of the ele the elephants on one side, okay? The B and B on the other side, and they just group it all together, all right? They group it all together so there's no remainder, and that's what makes like the pairs, okay? Um, so, so the liquidity that's allocated to the elephant token in this pool is close to $12 million, okay? $11.8 million worth of elephant token right now. And if we look, we're going to have, it's about 137 trillion tokens, uh, elephant, are currently in this pool. So if we do the price, which is half that liquidity pool, um, we can find the price per token, sorry. So the the value of the liquidity allocated towards the um, the elephant token divided by the number of elephant tokens in the pool. And that's going to give us our 
price per elephant, okay? So notice guys, the words price comes first, per, so you think division and then elephant. So if you always do price divided by elephant, you'll get price per elephant or price per token, okay? And it comes out with this, you know, crazy small number, all right? Whenever you see this times 10 and then there's a negative power there, we're talking very small decimal numbers, okay? And to make things a little easier on us, um, I've noticed like on the site, a lot of times on elephant.money will refer to it as like million, like how many, the price per like million elephants, like how many. And if we do that, guys, we'll just take our answer here and you can multiply by 1 million, all right? And that will tell you price per million, okay? So it's basically close to like eight and a half cents or like 8.6 cents right now per um, per million elephants in the pool. And that's actually exactly what the ticker symbol showed um, last night when I took the screenshot of the liquidity pool. And guys, so we'll do that example again so you can see it in action one more time. And this is for the elephant and the BUSD liquidity pair, okay? And currently in this pool, uh, there sits a little more than $16 million, all right? So, hey, 50-50, half of that um, is allocated to the elephant token. Okay, so I took that uh, 16 million and divided it by two. And so about 8 million, a little more than $8 million is um, the liquidity uh, or the worth of those elephant tokens. So I was like, all right, what's the price per token, right? So I took that $8 million dollars divided it by the number of elephant tokens that are sitting in that liquidity pool. And that liquidity pool contains almost about 94 uh, trillion tokens. Okay, so that dollar amount divided by the 94 trillion got me here. Okay, so again, kind of like another like crazy decimal number. Okay, now if we multiply that by a million, okay, so we can kind of get that easier to understand number price per million elephant. Okay. We're sitting at again. Ooh, it looks almost very similar. All right. That like 8.6 cents per elephant. Okay. All right. Now guys, what's amazing is, um, so bank teller, um, he put together a system for us, um, where when we buy with Bertha, there's this automatic um, arbitrage system in place to get the best deal for um, for the investor, for the purchaser. So, you know, when you go to uh, buy with Bertha and you go to purchase, um, sometimes she'll purchase b and uh, in the, from the B&B pool. And sometimes she'll go and she'll convert your B&B and uh, buy from the BUSD uh, pool, okay? And to get you the better deal. And notice how like, like clockwork that's been happening because look how close in value the elephant token is um, with those two pools, okay? It's like insane actually. Because um, if we look at it guys, um, we check out these two numbers here. All right, so our decimal, our place value system, right? Our decimals, so we got our tenths, hundredths, thousandths, 10 thousandths, hundred thousandths, millionths, 10 millionths, 100 millionths, okay? Billionths, 10 billionths, finally different, 100 billionths, okay? So that, BT's got that arbitrage system working where last night, the price of a, of a million elephant tokens were um, uh, 300 billionths of a penny uh, off a difference. So, uh yeah, not much arbitrage happening for the uh, those outside people uh, from the, in the protocol, right? All right, so guys, that's how you could calculate um, the current price of your token um, by just looking at the liquidity pool. Okay. All right. So where's this uh, whole uh, you know this formula coming from, right? This this uh, constant product formula. Okay. All right. So guys, if we look at the uh, this next slide here. Okay, um, so now I'm just looking at the B and B pool. Okay, so in this B and B pool, so we had that uh, twenty three and a half million dollars, and our formula compares x and y, and we're multiplying it together to get this fixed value. Okay, so 
what we did is, and what I did was I put um, X as the B and B that was pooled. And I put Y as the elephant that's pooled. And you just multiply them together. All right. And because we're dealing with such large numbers because of the elephant token, it gets to be like this pretty insane value here. Okay. So I just multiplied these together and K comes out to be like 4.88 and it's like times 10 to like the 18th power. All right. So that's, it's like close to like 488, like, um, like quadrillion or something. Um, it's okay. It's just, it's like a, it's a constant. Um, it doesn't really have much context um, with the values. Okay. But it just kind of keeps this relationship um, steady so that um, the liquidity pool can always find like the correct like pricing and everything like that. All right. So guys, that's going to be our K and we're going to be able to now create a graph or a visual. Okay. Um, so I'm a big, you know, person who likes to, and, in math kind of connect what's going on both, you know, with the numerically with the symbols and then also with like a visual picture, you know, to kind of help you better understand the concepts and everything. So, um, yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to graph this on the graphing calculator here and kind of see what this curve um, is all about for the liquidity. Okay, so this is that constant product formula. And guys, when you do a graph, okay, um, hey, it's just a, a relationship between two values, two things. There's an X thing and a Y thing, okay? And that graph um, is going to be an infinite number of combinations, okay, that fit that particular relationship, okay? So we could go anywhere on this graph and we could find the corresponding number of B and B and um, elephant token, okay, for this particular um, moment in time with this particular liquidity, okay? Um, just remember, guys, that um, this liquidity is actually going to always kind of rise and, and keep going because of how the, uh, how the taxes work. Some of it goes to locked liquidity, okay? So the liquidity actually pool grows over time, which is pretty cool, all right? Um, but here's where it is right now. And guys, we're going to see that. So what we did um, was I found that constant just by multiplying those two, the tokens together, all right? And then I just graphed this X times Y equals that constant, okay? And X is going to be um, the value or uh, the number of B and B tokens, and Y is going to be the number of elephant tokens um, in our liquidity pool, okay? And what I then did, guys, was I figured out where we are right now on that particular curve, okay? So I, I found the exact point where uh, we are on the current liquidity pool, all right? And that would be um, right here, the 35,600 B and B, okay? So here is, uh, looks like each, the scale on here is about 20,000 B and B each, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100,000. So 20,000, 40,000, a little less than 40,000. So that's 35,000. That's that value here. And then our numbers for um, our elephant token. Okay. And we're at 137 trillion. Okay. And um, uh, one times 10 to the 14th power, guys, that is uh, 100 trillion. Okay. So 100 trillion, and then this would be 200 trillion, all right? And then this is, um, I think, counting by 20s again, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, yeah. Okay, so right here, um, so 100 trillion, and it's a little shy, this would be 140 trillion tokens. So it's 137 trillion right now. So that's our current location um, in the curve in this liquidity pool, okay? Now, what I want you guys to kind of see, and this is what's really cool about this, is that if there's a lot of elephant um, tokens in this pool, right? So a high number up a high on the Y axis, like say 200 trillion, okay, tokens, is that notice how it like, it's kind of like slow at first moving towards the right, okay? So it's gonna take 
all right, where you have to um, take a lot of elephant out and you don't gain much B and B. Okay. So the price, you know, kind of is not too quick to accelerate at first. Okay. And here's where we are now. And notice how the bend in the curve, we're going to actually start getting to a point where we have to go down on the Y number just a little bit and we're moving more to the right, okay? So we're actually gonna be gaining now a lot more B and B, um, the fast, we're gonna have a faster rate of picking up B and B in the pool for like smaller and smaller amounts of elephant actually leaving, okay? So we're gonna actually, we're now kind of approaching that point where guys like, when just a small amount of elephant leaves, like it's gonna gain a lot of value in like B and B, okay? And eventually it's gonna get to a point where we're gonna have to like put in a lot of B and B just to get like a little bit of elephant out, okay? Because the elephant value is actually gonna really, really skyrocket and increase here, okay? And I just wanna go to um, that graph for a second, just to kind of show you like what I'm talking about a little bit. So, so here was that graph again, and notice how guys, like I can kind of put my cursor anywhere I want on this graph and it's gonna show me the combination of uh, B and B and uh, elephant token that fits this current um, liquidity value, okay? And so say if like, you know, we're going to notice here, guys, see how steep it's getting um, or uh, it's going to be falling, falling more and more rapidly. What that means is we're going to be picking up lots of B&B &B value and, you know, just for a small change in the elephant now. Yeah, it's going to get, guys, this is actually like going to get pretty disgusting. Like, you, you don't know, because like, uh, you know, that that first time around when the parabola went up, like you know, the exploit happened and, you know, you know, things had to go into recovery, but like, it was going to be crazy to see where it would, would go. All right. So check. So yeah, just like, you know, like check this out, for instance, like, so we're right here right now. Okay. Where we're at this, uh, 35,600, uh, uh, BNB, right. And the 137 trillion elephant token. Say if I wanted to figure out, all right, what if there's going to be like just instead of 137 trillion, 100 trillion? What if we like take out 37 trillion elephants? Some crazy person bought that much, you know? How much like BNB &B is going to be sitting in this pool, right? So what I can actually do is I can just kind of find, so this is like a system of equations. So I'm just going to draw um, a, a horizontal line where our Y or our elephant number is worth a hundred trillion and find where we would be on our curve, okay? And if we had a hundred trillion elephant in this liquidity pool, all right, we're looking at 48,800 B and B is gonna be in this pool, Whew, all right? Now, but here's the thing that's crazy, guys. Remember how in our first example, how the liquidity pool worked, okay? So the elephant tokens, all right, the elephant tokens are basically gonna be worth the same amount of liquidity as the BNB, okay? Because it's split equally, okay, 50-50, all right? So now, guys, we have only a hundred trillion tokens, a smaller amount of tokens. And those smaller amount of tokens are going to be worth a lot more BNB. So the BNB is going up and the number of elephant tokens is going down, but these liquidities remain equal to each other. That's where this crazy parabola um, of the actual just dollar amount shoots up insanely okay it's this is like that's gonna be cool okay this is so cool all right so say if like all right so that was like a uh, hundred trillion what happens if over time you know bertha's like the terminator you know like she doesn't care she's just dollar cost averaging 
chugging away. She is buying elephants no matter what the price, right? And um, so what if this hits half of that? So instead of, um, you know, 100 trillion, what if this liquidity pool gets down to only 50 trillion elephants? Like, what is that going to look like, right? So I'll go over to half of that amount, okay? And, whoa, we got to travel a long ways to the right to get to this. So let's see. Here it is. Okay. So guys, this is 50 trillion. Okay. So if this liquidity pool gets down to 50 trillion, okay, we're almost at 100,000 B and B value in there. And remember how the liquidity pools work. Okay. That 50 trillion elephant token has, it's the right of that elephant token to be worth now those 50 trillion tokens, a smaller amount of tokens is now worth that close to 100, 000, um, yes, 100,000 BNB. So the BNB is going to just start and it's going to get faster and faster, the rate of change for the BNB, because now it's on this crazy downslope of this curve. So the BNB is going to pick up and pick up and pick up and pick up. And there's going to be a smaller amount of elephant token that's worth Okay, that same BNB, which just makes every single token tons more valuable. It's like that's that supply shock um, coming through in this mathematical curve. Like it's it's going to be insane. Now, the one thing that I will say is like these tokens are getting more and more expensive. So the average person is going to be priced out of buying elephant tokens. So get your tokens now not financial advice, get your tokens, <laughs> no. you know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, so it's going to be pretty insane. Okay. Um, so hopefully you can kind of see that. So it's like, yeah, the BNB now is going to be shooting up a lot quicker and we're not going down that much. So the elephant, the quantity of elephant doesn't have to move that much for this value to just skyrocket. And then that amount of elephant that's in that BNB or in that pool is is entitled to have the same value as the BNB value in that pool. That's what makes the token so um, uh, price appreciate so rapidly. Okay, um, so yeah, that's cool stuff. Okay, all right, let's see what else do we got here. We've got another uh, another slide coming. Okay, so guys, I did the same thing um, with the um, the BUSD. Uh, liquidity pool. All right. And so we have um, our X is going to be the BUSD. Our Y is going to be the elephant. All right. And now guys, like when I do that constant product thing, um, I'm multiplying those two values together just to get that constant. And because like the number of BUSD is a lot bigger than the 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 value the quantity of the BNB, like this number is like insane. It's like times 10 to the 20th power. It's like ridiculously large constant. Okay. But that's the value you're going to use um, when you are calculating or when you're working with that constant product formula, X times Y equals K um, uh, formula there. Okay. So multiply them together, got that crazy number. And then just X times Y equals that constant. And that's going to give you that curve again. And then what you can do is you can just figure out, hey, all right, where am I on the curve? And then notice again, guys, we're, we're getting to that point where things are just going to start moving more and more rapidly. Um, it takes less of a change in elephant token to move that um, graph over to the right more where there's more dollar value there. Okay. So um, you can see here, guys, like as you know, there's lots of elephant, you got to remove a lot of it to kind of pick up steam. All right. Um, but then once you're here and then we keep going, we keep just buying more elephant and holding elephant, <clears throat> holding elephants. All right. Not financial advice um, that, you know, we're going to just start um, really kind of gaining a lot of momentum with uh, value. Okay, and, and price appreciation, all right? So it's gonna be really cool, guys. Um, all right, so one more little uh, problem that I uh, wanted to do today. So that's just kind of how um, you can calculate the, the price using a liquidity pool, okay? And then you get this nice little visual of where we are on that relationship, okay? And you can kind of see, you know, how um, 
you know, as that elephant tokens leaving, um, how it's going to be worth like more and more value. And you're going to have less tokens worth more value. It's a double whammy there. Okay. Um, all right. So guys, last one is let's find the FOMO zone. Okay. So, um, you know, so Mike Dre sent me uh, a while ago, um, this little picture here where he was like, oh, if like the elephant price ever hits here, man, look out, you know, things are going to be crazy. It says when elephant does this, it will uh, be a screaming buy to the outside public. FOMO <laughs> zone above the white line. Okay. And so Mike is, um, you know, a very experienced uh, investor with DeFi and he researches like a lot of, um, a lot of projects and a lot of price action and things like that. So, um, so I found that that was kind of interesting that, you know, he showed me that and it was like a little bit below like nine cents, nine cents per, um, per million elephant. So I figured, Hey, why not, why not just incorporate that into this video here? Like, so we could figure out guys with this formula as well, um, like target prices and things like that. Like what would have to happen, how much elephant would need to be in the pool for it to be worth that much and whatnot. So Guys, I have my uh, B and B, um, the liquidity pool numbers again here, and this was right here. This is what we had from um, our previous problem where we calculated the um, the price of elephant. Okay, so remember, elephant gets half the liquidity. Elephant gets half the value, and then you just divide it by the number of tokens to get the price. And then we could do times a million if we wanted price per million, okay? All right, now, so here's the scoop, all right? Now we have a price in mind, okay? But how do we get there, okay? So here's like the idea behind this, okay? So basically, um, all right, say if I want nine cents per million, okay? That's what I want for this price uh, in the BNB liquidity pool, all right? How do we get there, right? Well, so I still divided this by two, okay? So we're still gonna use that number here, okay? So right now, Elephant is entitled to that 11.8 11, um, 11 million in liquidity, all right? And we want, however, the value of those tokens to be worth right here, okay? So I bumped this up to like nine. And that would be nine cents per million. Okay. And that was kind of like where that FOMO zone that he was talking about is going to be, where even like outside investors that just like read charts and might not even know about like elephant, they're, they'd be like, what is this? You know, like the, it would pique their interest a little bit, you know? Um, so basically, guys, it's kind of like it's, it, it's basically works like a proportion. Um, there's a lot, there's easier ways. If you're good with math, it's, you know, shortcut, you just, you know, interchange these two values. But, um, you know, if you're not like super math savvy, you're like, oh, why does that work? You know? So um, I just kind of solved it as, um, you know, a simple equation where um, we want to get X alone. We want to solve for X, but right now it's in the denominator of a fraction. So that's always a little tricky. Um, so what we would do is undo that division with multiplication. Okay. So I would divide, uh, multiply, uh, excuse me, this side by X to undo the division. And then with, uh, back to middle school, right? Whatever you do to one side of the equation, you know, you do to the other side to keep it uh, to balanced and equaled out. So, um, so our X, which is our unknown number. Okay. This is our unknown elephant token. Okay. So we're trying to figure out how much elephant token has to be in here. Okay. And then guys, now that I have the nine uh, times uh, 10 to the negative eighth power uh, multiplied by X, our next step would be to just divide by this value, okay, which is down here, all right, and divide both sides, and X turns out, if I plug that into my calculator, all right, that 11.8 million divided by um, our tiny little decimal number right here, this would actually be the number of elephants that would have to be in the liquidity pool um, for the price of it to spike up to that nine cents 
uh, per million um, elephant. Okay, so it looks that 1.316 number there times 10 to the 14th. Okay, that's in uh, 10 to the 14th is going to represent um, 100 trillions. Okay, so that's a 131 trillion. All right. Now, right now, there's 137 trillion in there. And we got to get to 131 trillion. And so if we lose about 6 trillion elephant, <clears throat> we lose about 6 trillion elephant, um, we would be there. Okay. So if 6 trillion elephant gets yanked out of that pool, um, we're in the FOMO zone, guys. All right. It's pretty cool. Right. Um, all right. So how much money is that? Okay. Now, the one thing that um, you have to take into consideration is like um, the price of elephant is going to be changing constantly, you know, um, unless that happens in one big transaction. And um, so it's it's a little bit trickier, but um, we'll kind of figure it out on the next slide here. So now we're going to use this uh, equation again. All right. So our constant product formula equation right here. So that's that X times Y um, equals K formula. Okay, so I took that K formula or, or that K constant value uh, from the previous um, example we did, all right, when we multiplied those two values in the liquidity pool. And now guys, I wanna know where I'm at uh, in the BNB &B price when I'm right here, when I have 131 trillion, okay? Now I could be totally cheesy and like solve this very quickly with my graphing calculator yet again, okay? Um, y equals, and then you can just kind of put this number right in, see where it intersects and that would give you the BNB. &B. All right, but hey, you know, math teachers, they torture you, right? It's like, you gotta show your work, you gotta do all this out, you know, no calculator, you know? Uh, but here's like how we would do it like algebraically, okay? So say you didn't have like a, a graphing calculator or, you know, you weren't comfortable yet um, using that technology, like this would, um, you know, work for you. Um, so basically guys, we got right here, all right? So this is a number of elephants, all right? And I'm just gonna pop it into that X times Y equals K, constant product formula. So here's my X. This is my B and B. Okay. So I'm going to figure out how much B and B needs to be in here too. All right. So here's my X, my B and B times, okay. My elephant, the number of elephants that I need for that zero, uh, that nine cents per million to trigger. And there was that constant. Okay. That was part of that relationship, that steady constant there. And so when we have two things multiplied together, we can just divide both sides by that value to isolate the X or to solve it, get it alone. And so I would take this 4.88 times 10 to the 18th power divided by 1.31 uh, times 10 to the 14th power, that one right here. So I got that right here in my calculator. And it turns out that it would be uh, 37,000, about 95 uh, B and B. Okay, so that would be the combination of number of elephant tokens and B and B um, that need to be um, in the liquidity pool. That would fall on the graph there. That would fall on that curve um, for the liquidity pool, the constant uh, product formula. Very mathy, I, I must say. Um, and guys, now we can look and right now, currently sitting in the pool, there's that 35,601 B and B. All right. And to get to that FOMO zone, we would have had to go up to 37,000 B and B. Okay. So with a little subtraction action, guys, we can figure out that roughly about 1,500, all right, 1,494 B and B need to be added to this liquidity pool to get to that um, nine cent per million mark. Okay. That FOMO zone. All right. And, you know, this is est estimation because now we're going to figure out, all right, well, how much cash dollars is that, you know? So 
us as the uh, the herd, we're we're like crushing it. We're just buying Bartha, buying elephant, buying elephant, buying elephant, and not selling a thing. Um, you know, so like, how much cash do we really have to put in here? You know, to to get to just that part. You know, to get to the nine cent. Um, mark right here and so um last few days uh bnb has been hovering around like 325 330 so i just put in 330 here so um so we would need an extra 1493 point that number okay that's the bnb we have to put in times 330 so guys we're looking about a half a million dollars uh half a million dollars of elephant um buy um, to get to that 0 0.9. Now that's in that one, um, that's in that one liquidity pool. All right. Remember how like we, I mean, like BT was going like Thanos on us, you know, with this whole balanced thing with these, um, you know, with these crazy liquidity pools. So like, um, you know, so just take, keep in mind that to get here, we're also going to be buying probably in unison with the BUSD pool as well. You know, so we're probably looking at maybe like a million dollars worth of um, capital that needs to be injected and, and purchase elephant to get to that like nine cent mark, you know, that nine cent mark. If, if, you know, the BNB um, price stays pretty much like where it is right now. Okay. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's, it's, and it's doable because like people are, whew, I mean, people are not selling, um, you know, and you'd be not financial advice, you know, but it's, you, if you look at the math behind it and that's, what's cool about it, this is like, all right, are we done? Yeah, this is like math money. So, um, as the teacher, you know, I, uh, class, I, um, I graded Mike's paper, you know, so I looked at it and I was like, uh, yep that works these things are money they're amazing all right um cash flow for all yes we're getting there all right did bt crack the code absolutely um was this years of research and hard work blood sweat and tears in the making uh check all right class dismissed guys um lunchtime anyone for a nice tasty st uh, steak you know Oof. All right. Um, fun times, guys, um, in the elephant money system, you know, and um, I'm going to be uh, hitting you guys up with, unfortunately, more math lessons, too. But, um, you know, if you uh, like my uh, like my videos, you know, please share them, uh, like and subscribe and uh, check out, guys. I'm going to be launching a, a new uh, live show. Uh, the goal is every Saturday night, about 9 p.m. Eastern time called The Watering Hole where uh, anyone that just likes uh, elephant money can um, stop on by and chill out and, uh, you know, a social atmosphere and we'll just chat it up, get to know each other. I got a few little uh, hijinks planned and some like little competitions and stuff just to create the community, um, you know, get us all like, you know, a little more comfortable, familiar with each other. And, um, you know, it's, it's a great team, you know, it's a great team. So, um, you know, love spending time with you guys and everything. So, all right. Uh, thank you very much, guys. Uh, you know, I really appreciate it. I hope you, um, you know, you weren't totally freaked out and, and you know, understood the math a little bit. Or if you, you know, go through it a few times, um, you'll be able to, you know, pick up a, a few new new tricks and everything. All right. Thanks, guys. Take care. Till next time. This is Bailey, EMH. Okay, we're out. <laughs>